is a voltmeter connected in a circuit to measure the potential difference between two points okay for example i am going to consider a circuit now so let me take a circuit i'm going to draw a circuit here this is the resistance uh, r1 and here i am going to take another resistance which is uh, r2 and i'm going to um, uh, keep a potential difference here v okay so this is r2 and this is v voltage voltage will be there. okay <coughs> now what is happening here what is happening here means for example let me take this voltage is 9 volts more so this 9 volts voltage will be distributed here that means what so here some voltage will be distrib uh, distributed here some voltage will be distributed if you add those two voltages 9 volts will be there okay so for example here if 5 volts is dissipated and now here what how much voltage will be there 4 volts now 5 plus 4 will gives again 9 volts like that these 9 volts will be distributed all the components in the circuit okay now comes to our question how is a voltmeter connected in a circuit to measure the potential difference between the two points okay let me take these are the two points so i'm going to connect uh, the voltmeter okay between uh, for resistance r1 so how i need to connect i should connect the voltmeter in parallel only okay okay so this, this is voltmeter i should connect this voltmeter in parallel only why i should connect this voltmeter in parallel that is also important why means because voltmeter offers very high resistance more very high resistance very high resistance that means uh, almost infinity for an ideal uh, voltmeter the resistance of uh, voltmeter is infinity for an ideal one so uh, what will happen if the resistance is very high so whatever the current it is coming here this current is coming here at this point at this node according to Kirchhoff laws what will happen so this current will be divided into I1 and this current will be divided into I2 like that okay but we need to remember another one also so when when in, in parallel connection what will happen to the voltages same voltage drop will be happens so if here 5 voltage will be there means here also here also whatever the resistance that is secondary here also must and should the voltage drop will be 5 volts only then what about the current what about the current so this is having very high resistance right so if it is having very high resistance means it will allow very small amount of teeny amount of current only through it very high resistance okay so when when it comes to this one it will offer more current again this cur these two currents will combine here and it will go like this okay so first first how a voltmeter is connected to the circuit means the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the circuit why voltmeter is connected into parallel to the circuit means because voltmeter which is uh, having very very high resistance okay that means uh, it allows only least amount of current that is first positive and second one is if we connect it in parallel whatever the voltage drop here the same voltage drop will be there only so in parallel voltage is constant current will be divided okay this uh, you, you have to remember this one so in parallel in parallel v is constant whatever v is v is constant only and uh, what will be changes what will be changes i changes i divides so i will be divides according to kirchhoff laws thank you